Yo, what's up guys, how it's going? Welcome to Coding Board. In this video, I'm going to show you how to develop this small Android mobile application to convert a text to speech, right? Before going to the video, make sure to subscribe for Coding Board and turn on the bell icon to get more updates in the future. This is the previous project I have developed before. You can see I have created a new project. You can open your Android Studio and go to File, go to New, and go to new project you can select empty activity and go to next you can give a name to your application and you can select the things you need i'm selecting java and minimum sdk for oreo android 8.1 and you can click on this finish button to create your new project after successful uh, after the uh, successful grade gradle build you can view these screens like this in here we are going to um, design our application in the screen activity main xml file you can select the view uh, whatever the view you need the project or the android version um, i'm selecting android go to app and java this is our main activity dot java file and go to res in here layouts you can see our ex uh, activity main xml file is here now uh, as you can see on this emulator we need the uh, text input and we did button this is only a text view we don't care about it right now um, drag in and drop here <coughs> this are uh, text input and we need a button um, drag in and drop a button like this to here and we can set the constraints like this constraints like this um, doing it like this setting constraints and we can delete this text view right click on it and cut i'm doing the same thing because uh, we are doing these things because our after installing the real application in a real device it will be going here and there so we are doing this uh, we are setting these constraints to fix the elements in a one place right uh, right we have set the text input area and here's the button and now I'm going to go to the split view and um, text we don't need a text in here so I can remove this right now we can rename our button to click me right we have already designed our screen like this we are entering the text in here and we are clicking this button uh, to execute uh, to speech the text what where we are entering in this text field right now we are going to go to the main activity job file now we have to program the stuffs what we have designed in this design view make sure to remember the id whatever you are giving to this element i have given the edit text person name to and to the button we are giving a uh, button to now go to the this uh, main activity job right this is the main method and this is the uncreate method you can learn the stops on android uh, development there is so many methods on create on delete so many methods in uh, android uh, development life cycle now we have to initialize our elements we are using a button I'm using uh, we are giving a name to button like button click and we are using a uh, edit text element edit text um, I'm giving a name like text enter and uh, we are using text to speech I'm giving a like text to speech right now we have to import the um, libraries for this button edit text to do that um, clear put the cursor on this button and uh, you can see the options import class the class is imported now the error has gone import the text edit, edit text class as well now we can go to the on create method um, inside on create method we can uh, use find view by id to identify the button button and using uh, find view by id r.id 
in here we have to give the id uh, what we have given previously in our design view as uh, button 2 yeah i have given button 2 you can see the button id is button 2 and text id is this one i'll copy this one now it's right um, now we have to identify the text enter field edit text find view by id or id and give the id like this um, now we have to this context view text to speech and uh, nav text to speech get application context now we need a listener new listener <coughs> all right now we need a um, text to speech um, listener text to speech on init listener on init in status um, now we have to do it if status text to speech dot success in here um, I'm using this um, I'm passing a value named uh, integer i so in here we have to give the i not status you have to give the variable name whatever you passing in this um, on init method init int integer language and uh, text to speech dot set language local we have to select the um, language what is the language you need we are going to use english local english yeah fine in here you have to do this and now we have to we have already initialized the text to speech things and now we have to um, set on click listener for our button click button activity um, set on click listener nav wave we want click listener and string s now we have to use this um, variable that we have find by the id e, id um, text yeah it's text enter and uh, we have to get the text get text to string int speech these are the things uh, the application is um, executing on this um, button click you can see uh, inside button click event he is uh, on click listener and on click method is here inside uh, on click method we are doing this we are coding these things and text to speech dot speak speak um, now we have to string value s text to speech dot Q flush um, null. We have to pass these parameters to this um, speak. Yeah, now it's fine, and uh, uh, yeah, we have already uh, programmed this text to speech function. And button click uh, event list now already implemented in here um, I think now we are good to go all the libraries are imported yeah let's run our application on the Android emulator uh, just go to here um, you can go to the code import uh, YouTube channel you can there see there uh, I have already uh, uploaded videos on how to create a virtual device and how to download a virtual device just check, check on check out that videos you can get a huge idea on um, 
with this android emulator right i have selected pixel 3a android emulator now i'm going to run our application on the android emulator not this one let's see right our application is already running on the android emulator now let's test our application i'm giving like um, hello world and let's see by click on this you can see our application is already working properly um let's send another word like this i am a programmer i am a programmer now it's all right i think you got something i think you learned something through this video and uh, the source code is already available in the description source code link share this video to your batch mates to your classmates and thanks for watching make sure to subscribe for coding board i will meet you soon in the next video